Hey everyone, welcome back to Make Me Unusual. My name is Janae, and if you are new here, thank you for joining. And, and if you are returning, thank you for supporting me. Now today, uh, it's still Christmas, okay? So we're gonna get a lot of, <laughs> a lot of this. Um, but today we're going to be doing another sample try-on, uh, another niche perfume sample try-on. So if you're interested in the three perfumes that I am trying from Parfums the Marley, then stay tuned. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say. So I have three perfumes today and if my eyes look weird, it's because of the eyelashes. I don't usually wear eyelashes when I'm filming because I think it makes my eyes look heavy. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's not distracting. It's a little distracting to me, but <laughs> hopefully it's not distracting to you. Uh, so we have three perfumes today and I'm not reviewing Delina. I don't have any interest in getting the original Delina. I smelt enough. Delina's and Delina dupes and I'm not a huge fan of rhubarb in perfume anyways, so I'm already not gonna get Delina. I, I own enough Delina dupes. I don't gravitate towards them too much That's that on that so We're not reviewing Delina. We are however Looking at Delina La Rose because it doesn't have rhubarb in it, I believe and I'm more excited about that. Uh, we also have Meliora and Oriana. Let's start with La Rose because we all know that Delina is the uh, the most hyped perfume from Parfum Zamali, so let's try Delina La Rose. Uh, okay, so if you're not familiar, I own a lot of perfumes and I wanted to dabble into the niche world but it's quite expensive and blind buying is already very irresponsible so blind buying perfumes that are like $200 plus is quite irresponsible. I don't have the money to support that kind of hobby so I went on Lucky Scent, I bought a bunch of perfume samples and I am trying them to see what I do and don't like and so far I've tried I think nine perfumes and two of them I am interested in so goes to show you if I bought all of the perfumes I was interested in blind bought I would have problems all right so Delina La Rose made accords are floral fresh rose aquatic fruity musky tropical citrus and sweet have the little vial here. These aren't spray bottles, they're like dropper bottles, which is fine for the purpose. Okay, so smelling it just from the dropper. And this is, um, these are first impressions. These are, I'm blind testing these. So far, it's a very fresh, green, lychee scent. Um, it kind of reminds me of Killian After Sunset, but After Sunset's much sweeter, just from the initial. Uh, the top notes are lychee, pear, and bergamot. Middle notes are Turkish rose, peony, watery notes, floral notes, and the base notes are white musk, woody notes and Haitian vetiver. Um, just looking at what this perfume reminds me of, I don't own any of these. There's a lot of Chloe perfumes on here. Um, but none of these perfumes I actually own. And um, After Sunset's not on that list, but it does remind me of that. So I'm gonna put this on my arm 
So I will wear these for a few hours and come back and talk about the dry down and the longevity and the projection, what direction those are going in. These aren't going to be long wears, probably give it like three, four hours before I provide an update. But I'm trying to get a bit on my arm here. Okay. So on initial, it's got great projection because I can smell it from here. Okay, so to me, this reminds me of After Sunset. It's just a little bit greener, less sweet, and there's more rose present. All in all, it's a beautiful perfume. I really like the lack of rhubarb in this perfume. I don't know why I don't like rhubarb. I don't prefer it. Um, but this is really, really, really pretty. I really like this. I prefer this over Delina. Um, it's just fresher, brighter, um, and it just doesn't have that rhubarb. It's more like a literal lychee fragrance. Just like After Sunset, but just not as sweet. More rose. Um, I would see it wearing it in the spring. It is a nice watery kind of daytime uh fresh scent and it's got peony in it which i love which i can smell the rose is stronger than the peony but peony is still in there it gives it kind of more of the sweetness i don't get much of the bergamot maybe some of the pear but it is very much lychee rose dominant with a watery black background, some of a greenness. I don't get much of the musk or the woody notes, but this is the beginning of the fragrance, so that'll probably come out later. Curious to see how long this lasts, though. Um, After Sunset doesn't have the greatest lasting power. It's like a five hour uh, perfume. So I'm curious to see how long this lasts. The projection is pretty good. Because um, I can smell it from here, but at the same time, it doesn't smell strong. Like if I put my face close to my wrist, it's not like a punch in the face. So curious to see how this plays out. So that is La Rose. And so far, I do like that. I want to see what the life of the fragrance is like. If it's too similar to After Sunset, then I can't justify purchasing it. But I'm curious to see what it does after this. So let's do Meliora next because Meliora is the older one. So the Lina La Rose came out this year, 2020. So did Oriana. Um, Meliora came out in 2013. So Meliora is a fruity, soft, spicy, aromatic, fresh, green, sweet, woody fragrance. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> that sounds so good. Um, it smells familiar. What does it smell like? It's a berry. It's got berries in it. Okay, it's got black currant and red berries, so yeah. Uh, top notes are black currant, red berries, cassis, middle notes are rose, lily of the valley, ylang ylang, and the base notes are musk and vanilla. What does this smell like? Okay, this is supposed to smell like amethyst by Lalique. I had that perfume, I didn't like it. Um, I'm pretty sure it turned too green on me, like that beautiful, very sweet, kind of creamy uh, scent was like gone and it went too green and I'm pretty sure that's why I got rid of it. It was kind of, it lacked complexity and depth and it was just a, a green berry scent and I didn't enjoy it. But this... I like this in the bottle. I really hope it translates on the skin because 
If it translates on the skin, this will be what I wanted Amethyst by Lily to be for me. So. This reminds me of a hair care product, but I can't remember what it is but it smells so good it's not too green it's like a thick berry syrup it is so nice okay so I'm probably gonna end up buying all three of these perfumes <laughs> it doesn't have the strongest projection La Rose has a stronger projection this one is closer to the skin, but it's such a th like thick, sweet, berry kind of fragrance. Um, almost everything in this has like a sweet kind of background to it. It's supposed to be a green fragrance, but I'm not getting like it, it's green in the sense that it's not like dense and creamy. It's brighter. It's more of like a bright fragrance. But that berry scent is just so thick. <laughs> okay, so it's really starting to soften and um, the projection is dying. And I've only been here for like a minute or so. So I'm curious to see how long this lasts because if it doesn't last or if it turns too green then it's going to be a no, but as of right now I really do like the scent. Alright, let's do Oriana. So Oriana is a sweet citrus white floral powdery fruity musky vanilla scent. Let's actually try it. It just smells like orange marshmallows and the orange is kind of synthetic-y smelling. It smells like a candy, like an orange candy or like an orange creamsicle. Uh, top notes are mandarin orange, grapefruit, bergamot, middle notes are orange blossom, raspberry, black currant. Base notes are marshmallow, whipped cream, musk, and ambrette. The base notes I'm loving. The scent of or the sound of but this just smells like orange marshmallows to me let's see what it's like on the skin all right so this perfume kind of reminds me of love don't be shy but with more orange And it's in this perfume reminds me of. Okay, cool. Well, what's wrong? Okay, um. So I have a dupe of Love Don't Be Shy, um, which I adore, by the way. Um, purely because of that, I won't be buying this. Because it smells like exactly like Love Don't Be Shy, but with more orange, and I don't prefer orange, so yeah, that's my thought on that. It smells good though. The orange just smells kind of synthetic-y, and then on top of that, I don't prefer orange, so. Cool. We've eliminated one out of three perfumes. Wonderful. Okay, so I went back to La Rose, and that the florals are coming out more the lychee's taking more of a back seat and it is turning greener um so we'll see what happens after and meliora smells like literal sweet tarts like berry sweet tarts 
but it's not projecting much and it is like disappearing on the skin so i'm a little afraid of that i know the longevity is not great on meliora which is upsetting because i really 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 like it so we'll see how long these hang in for and i will come back uh once i'm done or yeah i'll come back once i'm done filming I'm not done recording all the videos that I was planning to record this evening, but I went back to smell the perfumes and I think I have my thoughts and opinions on them now. It's only been about an hour, an hour and a half. Um, yeah, I have my final thoughts on these perfumes and whether or not I want to buy them. So right now, all I can smell is Oriana. It is really... Um, it's got that projection on her. She got projection on her. So I really like Oriana, but I have um, a, I have Juliana's perfume, A Night to Remember, which smells like Love Don't Be Shy and Love Don't Be Shy smells like Oriana. So I'm not gonna purchase it just because I think that's wholly irresponsible <laughs> to have the two of them. They smell pretty much the same um so yeah i'm not gonna purchase that but it is a really good if you don't have love don't be shy if you don't have a love don't be shy dupe if you don't have princess by killian um and you're looking at getting oriana and you like the scent profile then get oriana now delina la rose now smells like after sunset by killian and frankly i prefer after sunset um i just think it has more of a rich a rich vibrant lychee scent to it whereas the dry down on delina la rose is very much a green lychee um it's quite linear there's not much going on with it so i don't plan on purchasing la rose because i already have after sunset and again similar reasons to Oriana I just don't think it's wise to have the two of them they smell pretty much the same or give like the exact same vibe um, and I just prefer after sunset now after sunset is discontinued so if you want after sunset or something that smells like that or you were chasing that or if you have after sunset and you finished it and you can't get it again then yes delina la rose is the closest i have ever smelled to after sunset because i had been looking for something that smelled like that for a hot minute um so yes if i run out of after sunset and delina la rose is still an option then i would purchase delina la rose now meliora it, it did the exact same thing that Lalique Amethyst did where it was this like nice rich thick berry fragrance that turned into this like green scent and it's basically almost gone on my skin and it's only been like an hour an hour and a half and like yeah the performance on this isn't great <laughs> it's not great at all um, and it's just I love love the top on this fragrance but now I'm bored um, it just turned really green kind of transparent smelling uh, the berries not very rich anymore it's like it was a berry pie and now it's like a berry juice with no sugar like it's just <sighs> I was hoping that that top would stay longer like on with um Lilique amethyst i loved the beginning of it but it very quickly shifted from the beginning to the middle and then it was just this, this green fragrance that i didn't prefer meliora lasted in the top much longer but then does the same thing so i can't justify purchasing that because i gave away Lilique amethyst <laughs> Um, which is far more affordable. So if I wanted, I would just purchase the Leak Amethyst and deal with that. 
but I don't like the majority of the length of this fragrance, so yeah. I will not be purchasing anything from Parfums the Month. That is a first. Is it a first? Well, we did MFK and I wasn't going to purchase anything from MFK either. I, I just... I won't be purchasing purchasing anything from Parfums the Mali. Maybe La Rose, but I don't see myself running out of After Sunset anytime soon. And maybe Oriana, but I don't see myself running out of A Night to Remember anytime soon. So yeah, if I run out of those two fragrances, then I might buy La Rose and Oriana. But as far as Meliora goes, I will not be purchasing that. So as of right now, there will be no purchases from Parfums the Mali. Um, yeah. I do recommend La Rose and Oriana if you are in the market for those two, uh, but not so much Mel Meliora is a pretty scent, but not for what it costs. So I'm gonna have to pass. Which is really hard. I really wanted to like something. I did like them, but uh, yeah. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.